Hello everyone, my name is Robert Guerrero and I am one of the Vice Presidents of City to City. I serve with the North America Affiliate as well as City to City New York and it is my honor and pleasure to be part of this conversation that uh, with other Latino leaders, amazing leaders, that we're coming together to think about the state of the Hispanic Church in the United States and the need to um, accelerate uh, church planting and the gospel presence among Latinos and, and, and among Latino communities. Especially in a time that we live right now, especially when you think of the of, of the extensive and powerful presence of Hispanics in the U.S., we're 60 million people, and a growth rate that's incredibly accelerated growth rate, 30 percent growth rate among Latinos. That's four times the rate of the nation's uh, total population growth, which is seven percent, and all the richness of our of of, the, of our heritage, spiritual heritage, our cultural heritage the diversity that we bring to the table. And um, that is faced with, with the plight of so many of our communities that are marginalized and even demonized by uh, some of the uh, uh, powers that, that are in place right now. Um, especially when we think about the undocumented, just to give you an example, we see so many injustices, um, social and economic injustices against our people of the 11 million undocumented immigrants of the United States, uh, close to half of that <clears throat> are Hispanics. And <clears throat> even though we, uh, together, all the undocumented immigrants, uh, bring uh, over four, $400 billion uh, a, a year to our national GDP, um, yet only about 40,000 visas a year unskilled labor visas are given away that's an injustice that's a that's a an economic injustice and and we look at um the poverty level 27 percent of of latino and latina children live in live in poverty only eight percent graduate from high school and only one in a hundred um earn a doctorate degree there's there's a there's a um inequality in the education and then, you know, you think about law enforcement and, and, and the unjust systems of policing and the whole nation is up in, in, in roar uh, about the, 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 the abuses that black and brown uh, people are suffering on the hands of, of, of the policing in our, in our country. And our healthcare system, you know, 25% of all Latinos have no insurance, no health insurance. That, there's, there's injustice. I mean, we can go on and on. But there's also the spiritual disorientation of our people and many of our youth that are caught between two worlds. And, and we see the brokenness of our families and the need for spiritual healing and restoration in, our, in, in, the, in the Hispanic household. But then you add to that the injustices that we, we, we experience within our own Christian world. Like the uh, Lifeway study um, showed um, in spite of the fact that Hispanics are planting so many churches, and in spite of fact that, in spite of the fact that the Hispanic uh, church growth is more through conversion and baptism than the established uh, white church, yet when we think about the resources that come in the way of the Hispanics, you know the resources that are provided, there's only a tiny fraction that comes to the Latino church compared to the um, uh, enormous amount of resource that is dispersed among. Our, our white brothers and sisters. So there is a need for this conversation. There is a need for collaboration. We are in an urgent need to see Hispanic-led gospel movements in cities across America. And that's that's what I'm, uh, uh, the commission that I have um, um, here is to talk about uh, one of our uh, uh, major themes that we're committed to to open up uh, in this conversation together in this think tank is catalyzing and collaborating um, gospel movements in our cities. Gospel movements that have church planting and church planting networks as a central part of their strategy, uh, that the gospel is at the center when we say the gospel is not only the gospel in word, but the gospel in deed. The gospel of the kingdom of God, changing individual lives, but also impacting the culture and challenging the unjust systems. And, and all in our effort to seek renewal, renewal of our communities, renewal of our cities. Now that is the desire of our Lord. We know that because he prayed that in John 17, his, his prayer, his passionate prayer 
to the Father was that we be one, just as He is in the Father and the Father is in Him. The unity of of our of, of our Christian presence of our of our of the body of Christ for the sake of credibility of our witness, so that the people may believe that He's the sent one. We need we need uh, uh, churches and leaders that we are so passionate about the gospel and seeing the gospel transforming our cities and our communities and, our, and the lives of people and that we begin to see our own mission and vision that we that, that we're part of in our organization as part of the whole it's a contribution to the whole we have to have a kingdom mindset not my kingdom but god's kingdom and we should be so uh compelled by this by this vision that we're willing to invest our time and our treasures and our talents to, to sacrifice and commit to this, this collaborative effort. And, and, and a collaboration among uh, the different traditions, the different denominations, um, uh, different types of leaders, different nationalities among Latinos, um, where, where we celebrate our difference, not, not tolerate them, celebrate it, because we, that's the beauty of what we bring to the table. Where it's more important that we achieve what we achieve together than, than what we achieve on our, on our own. So what are we hoping to see happening uh, through, through this collective conversation? What we want to see happening is Hispanic leaders and, and, and Hispanic churches and Hispanic denominations coming together to, to birth and strengthen gospel movements in cities that are committed to uh, primarily uh, three things. When we talk about gospel movements, there's at least three commitments. We want to see church multiplication happen through church planting, church planting networks multiplying, uh, equipping leaders uh, to lead all kinds of initiatives, gospel initiatives that, that can be birthed throughout the city that serves all kinds of needs. We're talking about, second, that we want to see a renewal that is, uh, 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 the, the fire of that renewal is the gospel. We believe that the gospel changes everything. Not only personal lives, but corporate realities and systemic evils are confronted by the power of the gospel. We want to see internal renewal, but we also want to see the decolonizing uh, renewal that the gospel brings to the Hispanic people. Because we received the gospel through the colonial lenses that places so much limitations on the way we understand our mission and our own Christian life. We need gospel renewal, and we need to think of city impact. We need to think about, you know, how are we effective um, in, in sharing our faith today in today's world? How do we equip people to live their faith on a daily basis from Monday to Saturday in their workplace? How, how is the discipleship, a discipleship that is uh, uh, transformative and multiplying in nature? How do we mobilize our people to get involved in mercy and justice? How do we live our faith in our workplace and a vocation? Those are the things that we are thinking about. How do we come together to equip the church for multiplication, for renewal, for city impact? And what do we need? We need to be united. We need to be united around this common passion, deeply committed to it. We need extraordinary kingdom-centered prayer. We need to be united in prayer because this is God's work. It's got to be, you know, as Tim Keller says, we can build the altar, but God has to send the fire. And we have to be, we have to unite that passion that we Latinos bring to the table that in prayer together for, for the common good. Um, we need to join efforts to equip the, the, coming, the, uh, the generation that is coming and to equip the existing Hispanic leaders so they can be more effective in reaching um, uh, this generation. We need to be, have a collaborative spirit um, and, and support new and creative gospel initiatives throughout this spirit. In other words, we need gospel movements. We need to come together. We need to believe that God has given us collectively a mission that we should be owning and stepping into together as one body. Now, could you imagine what can happen if leaders with this kind of passion and commitment come together around different cities and communities throughout our nation? You know, leaders that are not just surviving, trying to 
build their own church and grow their own thing, but actually that we're passionate about striving together for the sake of the gospel. Could you imagine about coming together to make a, 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 a collective kingdom impact? And can you imagine, you know, the, the, the rich spiritual heritage and this missional impulse of the Hispanic church that we see in the study that came out through Lifeway? Um, coming together with that impulse to make a difference in our cities. That's what, that's what movement is. That's what we want to see happening. And this is one of the conversations that we want to have and invite you to be part of. Thank you for this opportunity uh, to share with you. And, and hopefully you will be joining in this ongoing conversation.